Uh, hi everyone, I just wanted to give you uh, my overview on these uh, Kenta uh, Quest tires. So if you're uh, getting them and buying them, I just wanted to let you know that I put about uh, 1,000 miles on them. And I'm very, very happy uh, with them. Uh, these are 700C uh, slash 28. So they're on the borderline uh, road tire and the gravel tire. I'll let you see the, the pattern tread, how it looks like. See, and this is the uh, from this angle right here. And there you have the name, uh, Quest, uh, Kenta Quest right here. Now, um, I've been riding them because the weather got nicer here, but the, they seem to really be decent uh, up here in the uh, Northeast uh, states in Canada, where we have a lots of potholes. So these are pretty decent. Uh, by the way, before I go any further, uh, I'm going to link this down on the Amazon links, so I get a tiny bit of commission if you guys want to purchase them. But speaking about the price, they are going to be pretty affordable. So uh, I look down on Amazon and each are going to be uh, $25. So for $50, you're going to get a pair, which is much cheaper than getting the Continental. So keep that in mind. So again... There's going to be a link description where you guys can support the channel and get these for a decent price. So again, the price is the really good factor that I find here. Um, upon riding, now let's get about the ride. Let's get, let's get on the riding now. Uh, you see the you see the tread here. I found them very decent for cornering. So if you are a kind of spirited and, and a, a little bit uh, aggressive in the corners, they're gonna do the fine for you. See, there's like a little tread here on the side. And see details are quite nicely laid out there. Beautiful tire for cornering. Uh, another thing when it comes to the pluses, I found it to be very, very quiet. You see, uh, uh, you see how the tread goes. You get, you get a good bit of tread, but you see you have a flat spot going across, which is gonna give you that nice and uh, decent, you know, quiet ride. So that's something that I found. Uh, this is uh, 1,000 miles and see how they look like. So they're going to give you quite a bit of, uh, you know, miles down the road. Now, uh, speaking about, the, uh, the, you know, how fast, uh, they're not going to be the fastest. I'd be, I'd be up front over here, but they're going to do a quite decent job uh, right in the middle. So just above the average. So if you're, if you're uh, concerned about that, I wouldn't worry too much. Definitely uh, decent tread pattern. That they're gonna get you you know where you want to go so that's really nice so see over here how i got about uh, the pins of course they're gonna be over here after a thousand miles and that's pretty much that uh, oh yeah after 1000 uh, miles i did not get any zero flats so that's very important to all of you guys always want to know about the flats that's not an issue here and these are not tubeless they do have tubes inside so this is the tube version and when you want to inflate them, I just look over here somewhere, it says 65 to 85. So, so if you really want low resistance, bump up that uh, tire pressure to 85. If you want a little bit of uh, comfort, go down to 75. So those are the four main details that you want to keep an eye. Apart from that, this is a very decent uh, bank for a buck, very good value. And hope you found this useful. Go out there, get one for yourself. And enjoy it. Take care and have fun. Bye-bye.